So I tell you, oh, I tell you, I'm just so aggravated. I've said, and probably in yesterday's video, as a matter of fact, maybe day before yesterday, that if a company can mess with me, they will. Guaranteed, when I need something the most, is the moment they're gonna mess something up. Every time, and it's so frustrating. As you know, I have ordered two new solar panels and a new charge controller. Now, I ordered them on the same day. The charge controller was coming UPS and the solar panels were coming FedEx. Well, UPS sends me an email yesterday saying, your package is being delivered today. And then about, I don't know, 10 o'clock, they send me another email saying, your package will be here in between this and this hour. So in this case, it was like between 11 and 2.45, something like that. And then they send you another email with a map of where the truck is. And so when you're curious where your package is, you just click on the map and it shows you how far it is and you can get a rough idea how much longer it's gonna take. Now, sometimes, they wait until the very end of their 245, but most of the time they come in right in the center of that. So today, sure enough, the UPS truck drives by and then comes back and drives right on by. And I thought, well, what's going on? Where'd he go? But they didn't say my package was delivered, so I knew they didn't deliver to the wrong address, which UPS always never, seems to get it right. So I wait a little while longer and another UPS truck shows up stops right in front of the house and voila here's the old camper by the way there is my new charge controller so now I have two charge controllers I got the old one running over there in that big mess over there and this is the brand new one all clean and I've got four solar panels hooked up to it but I should have six so I disconnected four from the other charge controller and I'm gonna and I'm gonna have six solar panels on this charge controller and six on that one but right now i only got four on this one i suppose it's going to charge better so here it is it's 245 now and i know for a fact that fedex if they're going to show up shows up either around 10 or 11 o'clock somewhere right under there and they're not here at 10 or 11 o'clock i know he's not coming just the other day our neighbor came over to our house says you got a FedEx package for us? Nope. I said, if it was FedEx, you're not going to get it until a week later. I've always had a problem with FedEx. FedEx does not deliver packages on time. I know that people are going to tell me all kinds of excuses why FedEx should get a, a pass. And this is why I don't like these companies because everybody just assumes they should get a pass. I needed these solar panels today. I was expecting them. I ordered them. I got the charge controller. I was going to make a video about solar panels, but I'm not going to make a video about solar panels. What it is, is we live so far away from his home base that if he only has one package to deliver, he's not going to deliver it. Well, there's a school nearby us. It's a little country school out in the middle of the boonies. And what it is, is the teachers order stuff all the time, and they have it delivered to the school. And so when he's passing us, he stops and then heads on off to the school. Well, the school's closed now. So I may not get this package for another week. I, I may not get it at all. It's happened before, many times. I mean, well, I, I just can't stand FedEx. I don't order from Walmart because they use FedEx. Now, it was my understanding, according to the UPS driver, that Amazon doesn't use FedEx anymore. For whatever reason, my solar panels came FedEx. Now, I go to Amazon and it says out for delivery. I know for a fact he's already at home drinking a cold one. He didn't go past 20 miles from his house. He's not gonna come up here. The thing is, is FedEx is contract drivers. So I guess what it is, is they're like their own little business owners. So these expenses are on him. So if he can save money by 
consolidating his packages and telling his customers, oh, sorry, you know, it must have got lost or there was a shipping error or whatever. They always make up an excuse. In that video that I made the other day, and I'll put an up next box to that video. At the end of this video, I don't know if I've become cold and bitter, but I am just so tired of this behavior from our society. It's a lazy society. You pay money for something. I paid for shipping and it wasn't cheap. It was, I, I, you know, you get Amazon Prime, but sometimes you still pay for shipping. I don't understand it. I guess so I can get a specific time frame. Now, what was funny is the charge controller and the solar panels were ordered on the same day. The solar panels were shipped out that night from California, but the charge controller was not shipped out. It was not shipped out until last night. I got an email from Amazon saying it's shipped. And I thought, my goodness, it's never going to get here by tomorrow. Never. And so I looked to see where it was coming from. It was coming from South Dakota. And I, I, so I said to myself, well, I guess if the driver drives all night, he'll get it down to Sedalia, Missouri in time for me to get it. And he did. The UPS is amazing. Why can't FedEx formulate some sort of plan to make that happen but I, I know that people think I'm a grumpy old person I mean I've even gotten emails like that my wife thinks you're grumpy I am grumpy society has made me this way society has said hey I don't care about you you give me your money and I'll think about providing my this, my service to you a couple of years ago dad had a job as a campsite host manager he didn't live there anymore. He used to in his camper, but he built a house and moved up on his property. He lives about, I don't know, three quarters of a mile, maybe half a mile away from this, this place. And he's always on, was always on call. And he wanted to get a new roof on this building. And people were saying, no, we don't want it. No, we don't want the job. No, we can't get employees. No, we can't do this. How is it you can't find anybody to provide you with a service anymore. My job is to make YouTube videos. I don't know if I'm any good at it, but I got a few subscribers and I got a few people come and visit me every day and I appreciate it. And as my gratitude, the only thing I know how to do is make videos the best I know how. So you'll come back and watch. I make them every day. And if something happens where I can't make a video, I try to find a good video that I made a long time ago that is still relevant today that you may not remember or if you're new to the channel, may be new to you. I always try to provide a good video, the best I know how to make. I make a video seven days a week, 365 days a year, unless something happens. Here recently, since Carolyn's son has showed up, I've ran into a few issues that I haven't been able to make a video every day but I sure do try, that's my job. And if I cannot post a video, I always try to say, I'm sorry. If somebody comments and says, hey, we missed you today, I always try to reply back, sorry. You know, there's always communication. But to just not show up every time you need a package is ridiculous. If you need a new roof and you can't find someone to do it, it's ridiculous. So yes, I'm a grumpy person. I have expectations from people that if you're going to make a promise to someone, you keep your promise. I just don't understand how a company can survive not providing the service that they said they're going to provide. I don't understand it. UPS kicks their hindsight every time. Heck, the postal service actually does a better job than FedEx. The problem with postal service is they don't actually give you a re real hardcore specific date. They'll say maybe they'll range it, I think, in between a few days. But at least they keep their promise. If you promise you're going to be here on a certain day, be here. But I, when I saw the FedEx was going to be the, the deliverer, I absolutely knew I wasn't going to get my package. I really don't like society anymore. And I know there's going to be some of my subscribers that get angry when I say that. But society has really fallen off the cliff. I cannot imagine my grandparents' generation saying, eh, 
Oh, heck with that old guy. I'll get to it when I get to it. Sorry, I can't help it. It costs you money to bring it out here, but you were paid to bring it out here. Bring it out here. So I will make a video sometime showing off my new solar panels. So the charge controller does seem to be helping diverse the amperage. It seems like that's going to work. I'm already getting more amperage between the two. The, what happens is the one charge controller will only allow about 25 amps to go in so it doesn't overcharge the battery. Well, I have 800 amps of battery, so I can put in, so I don't know, like uh, nearly 100 amps without overcharging them or damaging them. So with two charge controllers, and they're prov both providing 25 amps, that'll be 50 amps out of a 60 amp system. So that's much better. When there's a load on it, I'll get the entire 60 amps. So I'm gonna cut this one short today. So if you'll click this up next box, take the video where I was telling you about my frustrations with society. So I hope I can inspire you to keep your promises so you can live your dreams. Thanks for watching.